Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, my checking out, my quick look of the demo. Well, it's not really a quick look. It's a full playthrough, probably. But I'm checking out Bakaru, which is uh, a new Goemon game, essentially. Now, I haven't played through a ton of the Goemon games, but I'm just a big fan of it. And this game, uh, we are getting pretty much a surprise drop that, yes, it's coming out in the West. I almost imported this when I was in Japan, but I was like, believe in the vision. And it's a good thing I did, because apparently this version is even updated to play better and have more bosses and stuff. So let's check out Bakaru together. Hell yeah. Crazy Japan action. I'm probably not like voice acting, but I'm gonna crank it. It even sounds like Goemon, oh my god. Let's go. Opening demo. We got a couple levels. <gasps> There's robot battles! Shut up, let's go. Alright, let's see here the opening demo. What's up with it? So it's not like a beginning of the game sort of thing, I guess. It's also coming to PC. So if you want if you want to get slightly higher quality, probably get it there. Wow, it's just like fate. Is this is this like Naruto's VA? It sounds like it. First adventure. Does that imply sequels are on the way already? Bakaru. Mameda Bakaru. Oh, look at little Nodisun. I've seen this character type everywhere. Little rice bowl looking little scrimblo. I think Toho has one of these. Oh, you're so small. Just pops him in the mouth. Oh, we got little motion comic cutscenes. Oh, literally, of the Isun clan. Okay, well, there we go. Elder. The elder of the Tanuki clan. <gasps> Wait! Bakaru is a Tanuki? Well, frick, I didn't know that. Okay. Granted, you will patrol the village in his human form. Okay. I didn't know that. Why are you doing out there on such a stormy night? truth is, the human world, I mean, all of Japan is in trouble. Someone named Oracle Saitaro and his festival troops are using a bizarre festival to take over all Japan. And Momotaro, we know him, our fairy tale hero. He's been brainwashed by Oracle Saitaro. What? Not Momotaro. I'm not asking for help to save Japan, but well, I guess no one wants to pay attention to someone so small. I was at a loss to what to do next when that bug started chasing me. Bakaru came and saved me. Yeah, Pipsqueak saving an entire country when she needs saving from a little bug. <laughs> that just ain't happening. Whoa. Hurry. How many times does it tell you to watch your matters, boy? Hmm. My apologies, son. This kid's still an amateur pup. Please excuse his behavior. So I'm sorry, that was rude of me. I take it back. At any rate, it doesn't matter how hard I try. There's no way I can save Japan from this nightmare. Hmm. Do, you, do you have a plan to save it? I think I'll head to Kanagawa and seek out Kintaro on Mount Ashigara. Oh, Kintaro, the hero with unparalleled physical strength. Solid idea. You know what? Go ahead and take Bakaru with you. His frontal cortex still developing. <laughs> you just called him stupid. But he's athletic when transformed. Now the rascal will do all the traveling for you. That'd be a huge help. Oh, I don't have to work. I don't want to. Help and Sun, I will make up for your rude behavior. Listen up. Make sure Sun, 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 I don't know, makes it to Kintaro safely. 
And don't come back till then, got it? Yeah, here loud and clear. Henge. Grow an answer, spirit! Here's some for your journey. Our clan's treasured Haradaiko drum. Haradaiko? It's a weapon, but not really a weapon. Drum ain't for hurting anyone, it's for purifying evil spirits. Beat this drum and you encounter anyone haunted by evil spirits. Oh, so it only works on bad guys. In a sense, yes. Thanks, Gramps. Guess time to adventure. Okay, soon I'm gonna get you to Kintaro. Just you watch. Sounds good, Bakaru. Let's do this. Bakaru Dono. Nice, nice. And thus, Bakaru and Sin set out on a perilous adventure to save Japan from Oracle Saitaro's evil deeds. Let's play the actual game then. Let's go. We know the story. But now I need the action. This was one of my friends, like, game of the years, pretty much. So, like, I'm I'm pretty excited to give it a try. I've heard it's extremely PS2 core in a good way. Like, when someone says it looks like a PS2 game, you'd be like, dang, that sounds bad. And then you... Yeah, no, that's a good thing in my eyes. All right. There we go. We got kind of a... Got to run... Okay. Gotta run and jump, and that's about it right now. Oh, it's, oh, it's full 3D. Okay. Nice. Oh, we got a guard button. Oh. Oh, your L and R buttons are Tyco buttons. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's go. Got some, got some sh movement. What else we got? Pressing buttons. Do you know kids nowadays are too too scared to press buttons? It says a lot about our society. Okay. So we got some so we got guard. I don't know if I love it being LNR, but I guess it kinda works for you know if you're gonna be drumming, you know? I normally don't play games like I always switch it off to be, you know, regular buttons, but uh, it probably is going to make sense if I do it like this way. You probably have like left, left, right combos, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's fun. And you can press them both to do a slam. Okay, it's kind of like uh, Sonic Unleashed in that way, which is, you know, maybe not the best comparison, but... That's fun. Yeah, clip into the tree. Hell yeah. Okay. I get that. Cool, 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 cool. That works. Break these open. Yeah, give me them Kobans. Let's go. I'm just going to stick to a regular camera angle. Take down tough enemies with a double hit. Oh, wow. He's dead. They're, they're dead. Rip to those uh, balloons. What is this sign? A little, little octopus mask fella. Perform combos, alternating left and right to defeat them in succession. Okay. Let's have a good combo system. Charge double hit. Powerful shockwave. Okay. Okay. This is a gosh dang video game, man. There was a lot of just like partying enemies like this in most Goemon games, you know? Poop? Oh! You're a little poop fella. Oh, you scared me. I thought I was going to step in some you know what. If it isn't Scoop, hello there! Bakru, this is Eason Clan's revered sage, Scoop. Oh, stop. Scoop travels the world to learn new things and acquire knowledge. Dude, that's so cool. I was never really good at studying. Nothing beats learning and knowledge. Knowledge is power, after all. But how do you to you? So that's just an important quality to have. Next time soon, I'll just holler and I'll give you a good scoop. Aw, thanks, Scoop. You're the greatest. He, does, he did look like poop. Do any of us send knowledge? Well, here's a net of wisdom for ya. Japanese has been the world's hardest fruit. 
the fish smooth and dried and purposely made molds of a little muscle that's left behind. Okay. Alright, so that's just... Oh my god, you get random Japan facts from this dude? Hell yeah, that's gaming. It's not how it happened now, it's how it was up to see Okay, so the collectible is knowledge of Japan? Hell yeah. Alright. Slam jam these. In many ways, it even feels a bit like... Like Mario 3D Land and stuff. You know, maybe it's because I'm not changing the camera angle. I mean, I can. But I just don't want to. It's more fun to just pick an angle and stick with it, you know? What is this thing? I was gonna say it looked like a gotcha or something. Souvenir? Oh, that's fun. Three souvenirs in each stage. Find them all and bring them home. Oh, you got like a little leap. That's cool. Okay. Nice. I don't know if there's any point to doing that, but I just wanted to. Okay. Hey! This is gaming, baby. Let's see what else is up here. Use the drum to guard. Repel by... Oh, we got parries? Okay, let me try to parry this. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, parries. If your game doesn't have a parry, is it even a game? Got perfect dodges? I, well, I pressed the wrong button, but... Counterattack. Do a perfect guard, and then we can do... Er... Okay. We got... We got stuff. Ow. Nice. Can I do that into a... Okay, I can't do that into that. That's fine. Warp drum. Press B to warp away. Warp to panel number one. It'll take you to panels number two and three. So it's like kind of modern day, but not like that other Goemon that was modern day. Don't worry about it. Look at all these little guys, little scrimbomb blows. Hello, you look like someone who's going to run away when I go, go next to you, and you're going to try and, like, run away. You look like a little runaway fella. Yep. There we go. He was a little sack boy. Not to be confused with that other sack boy. Okay, so yeah, we got, like, trucks here. So yeah, this is super modern day, huh? Nice. I do feel a bit bad, because we are just kind of straight killing dudes who are just, you know, out trying to grab some food, you know? Can we climb this? Nope. At least not yet. Maybe climbing is an ability that's unlocked later. Oracle Saitar. Okay, cool. Hmm. Is there anything else up there? I don't think so. They're, they're just the coins. Gotta be on the lookout for all those, uh, secrets, though. Whoa, little... Oh, a little quick, quick leap. Hey, dude. Oh, well, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. That's on me. I, I thought I'd talk to him and I ended up straight killing him. Thankfully, all it took was money. Which, I mean, is maybe not the best sort of way to do it, because then you lose money. But at the same time, does that mean no lives? Good! I hate lives in games. I'm gonna be real. I I say in the modern age, don't don't put lives in your games. Right? It's just... There's people that argue that it's good for, you know... Um, you know, incentivizing the player, but I just say it's, uh, annoying, so don't do that. So yeah, that was a checkpoint, which means our fellow's back alive? Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah, I, I looked at some comparisons of, like, the stuff you can do with the controls, and they really did crank it up for, uh, for this release. Just a lot more, um, cancels and stuff, like, you can... You can, like, dash cancel and stuff and roll cancel a lot more. That's real good. Right? Because then you can... It just plays better. 
All right, so let's let's not roll off and talk to you. Oh, it's all about sudden now. This is not the rhythm for you. P Ping spot. There's a make and piss statue at the edge of a cliff in one of Japan's most remote valleys, the Iya Valley. Going number one there was a test of metal in the old days. There's no harm in having lunch. Have you used up to I love getting Japan trivia. That's the best. That's really good. Also, I see this here. Get that, get that moolah, get that do, doshola. Oh, I see the thing up there. Okay, well, move a little. Yeah, that should be pretty easy. Just jump up. Oh, no, nope, not like that. Like that, yeah. And I see there's the souvenir up there. There we go. All right. And get this. What do we get? Sudachi citrus. They look like limes, but aren't. Wow. Who knew that there is fruit that looked like limes, but aren't? <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a thing to say. I was going to say, that looks like something I can do. It's a dead end. There's a small opening here, though. Not even a mouse can fit through that. Guess I'll have to find another route. Um, do you have any Henge abilities besides your human one? Huh? Nope, I only have this human form that Gramps taught me. I see, then have you heard of a Henge license? Is that is that the word for what Tanukis do when they transform? Never heard of that. What's that? Never heard of it. Henge license is something that allows you to shapeshift. You get a license, you can use its Henge power. Whoa, well, that's awesome! Since you're doing me a huge favor helping me on the journey, and so they're right, I give you the Isun clan's Henge license. <laughs> Are you serious? I'll gladly take it. Okay, here goes. So how does this system work? Whoa, that was a crazy flash. Am I just gonna become small? Just small guy? <gasps> Whoa! We're just a tiny fella! Isun Henge, nice. I'm so tiny now. You now have permission to shapeshift and become small like a sea soon. You can use our Henge powers to make yourself small at will. I kind of feel weaker now. That's because the Isun people can't really fight. Instead, we use our small size to get into tiny spaces and to hover in the air with our light body weight. You may become weaker, but you still have your uses on your journey. I see, it's all about how you use it. So that's something you should know about Henge licenses. To retain your altered form, you need to collect something called Bakaru energy. Bakaru, that's his name, is a strange energy found all over the world. It's found in nature, living things, non-living things anywhere. Once you run out of Baku energy, you'll turn back into a Tanuki. Okay, okay I need to gather that energy to use Henge powers. Got it. So wait, will we actually become a Tanuki, like, in-game? Let's see. Use Eastern Henge and check out the small hole. Okay, so we got ZL to Henge. Depletes when you're transformed and will be replenished. Okay. So ZL... Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get some. Oh, look at these little power-ups jumping out of everything. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, so. Oh, hey, little dude. Oh, talking about sudden now. Okay, what do we got? Tanuki feign sleep. Tanuki feign when startled. This inspired the term to Nerf Nero and it's Nerf to Slip, but this means playing dead. Oh, wow, just like, uh. Bye bye. Just kind of like regular sort of, you know, um. Raccoons, right? You got them. Well, uh, possums is what I'm thinking of, right? So can we, like. You guys dropping stuff now? You're not dropping this stuff. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And we get <laughs> they said it drops from nature okay i was gonna say like does nature count as like trash bins and stuff doesn't seem like it we should have enough with this uh this little bit here all right let's ah well i wonder how many we're gonna get 
Don't let it run out. There are narrow areas that can only be accessed during the transformation. If you return to the entrance, if it runs out, keep an eye on the meter to proceed. So just, just get on out of here super fast. Got it. Oh, and then we go like that. Okay. Oh, well, maybe we want to actually be him. Okay, never mind. Okay. Oh, we got to rapidly press it. I see, I see. Oh, yeah, very, very, very Mario, you know? And you can just press it to cancel it. Good. Oh, do I have to hit it one direction? Oh, okay, we're going to get rotational stuff. I see. Oh, there we go. What is that thing? Oh, hello. Okay, I'm going to have to go down there and get that. There's another guy up there. Destroy evil emitters. Destroy three emitters to break the seal and clear the stage. Okay. So they're, they're like the mandatory thing at the end. I see, I see. I do like the, the festival atmosphere means all the, the villains are pretty much just chilling out. What do we got here? Cafe Ole Day. June 1st is World Milk. October 1st is International Coffee Mix. We have a Cafe Ole Day, which is observed in Japan. Cool. We missed one somewhere. I don't know where, but it's fine, because we're not... We're, none of this is saving, I don't think, from the progress. Okay. Just want to see what the other one is, though. The other thing over there. Well, Evil Mitter can be buried. Give him a taste of your charged hit. Okay. So I could see some stages being like, you know, they're kind of everywhere. Some of them they'll be at the end. I could see that. Right? Different different stages having different locations. That's the other souvenir. Is that a sweet potato girl mascot? Okay. Is it meant to be like a co Kokeshi or something? Maybe. I don't know. And that's okay. Okay, so let's destroy this one. There we go. Smash him up. We got one more. Was it in the enemy? Oh, it was in the enemy. Okay. If I want to just like, heck yeah, heck yeah, gaming, strike the festival tower to remove the evil. If you can't beat the drums, there may be emitters nearby. Sounds good. Oh, heck yeah. That's a good end of stage thing. That's fun. Yo, we we almost got them all. We didn't get everything, but okay. Oh, okay, more abilities. Uh, let's continue, and I will probably buy this game honestly. But I want to try the other stages and stuff because I'm having a good time. Aichi, here we go. Let's see what do we got here. Ooh, okay. Very different environment. I see now we got like a, some items or something down there. Okay, a lot more Splatoon looking now. I'm digging the jazz. Scrat. Oh, Oracle Saitaro again, okay. So let's just, since, since it doesn't matter too much about I'm loving these fake logos, doesn't matter too much about getting all the items. Let's just worry about getting to the end of the stage. We've sort of seen how it is. Oh, these things were everywhere in, um... Whoop. Like, these here where you got, like, all the enemies kind of going around. This is a very common sight in, uh, going on games, right? 
Nice. Okay, so yeah, there, there might be some where they're kind of, you know, everywhere. There's ones where they're more, you know, individualized. Do we have any new Henge powers for this? No. I do see this here. Is this, is this saying something? No, just a place where I could fall off. Got it. Okay. Who's this little guy? Is it a little Tanuki salesman? Look at look at the little, little little Tommy here. We can os him. The fact it becomes yo or sup depending on just when you approach is really good. Oh, you're cute, Yuriko's. Items take immediate effect. Stock items can be carried. So we got little decoy automatically take a hit in your stead. That's pretty good. Let's grab one of those. Uh, blow him up in one shot. Yeah, let's do that. And this is permanent life increase. All right, so that's something in the full game you want to save up for. Cool. Keep it spinning. There we go. Okay. It's just such a video game, man. Can you stop spinning? Thank you. Yeah! I almost wish there was a combo counter, you know? Oh, interesting. Right? You do have to worry about what angle you're hitting them at. Hey, dude. What do we got here? Number 17, Misukatsu Origins. When people had the idea to deep fry pork cutlets in miso sauce instead of soy sauce. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah. We missed one originally, but that's fine. Okay. A little bit of popping for sure. Whoop. Okay, I wonder if that'll actually hit me as it falls down there. Don't actually know. So you can kind of just jump on the right angle with him. That's cool. I like that. All right, you can just kind of wait for him to turn. I will like. Well, okay, that's fine. Okay, it doesn't seem to hit, have a hitbox as it falls down. Nice! This is a game that would be fun to speedrun. I'm just playing it here and I'm like, kind of the tech would be fun. Right? Okay. So, okay, okay, what do we got? What do we got? I just want to go fast. I could be looking for little thought and fellas, but... I'm just enjoying the movement, man. Okay, so... Oh, it looks like you have to beat all these guys to get it. So just go up here. Do that. That almost got a bunch. Oh, that's a nuke. Nice. Okay, got that. Stage can be completed now. Okay, so that, that doesn't actually hurt until they, they actually switch it around. Hey, dude. Drown by the scent, what do we got? The wooden fish... Uh, the fish-shaped wooden drums that monks tap on are made in Aichi Prefecture, the largest producer, well, more like the only producer. I love these facts so much. Here we go, and then we'll let's go up. Yeah, I can see myself using the, the combat base Henge's a bit more, but right now I have no reason to really become uh, the Isun there. Okay, nope, that's fine. I'll just leave that. Like, if this was a tougher jump, maybe I'd, I'd take it, but I'm good. Ooh, look at all this. Once again, I just look at this and I go... Are these guys actually approaching? Like fools? Nice. Love to do it. Okay, okay. It looks like there's something here, too. I guess not. Just a thing there. Now, is that progress? Wait, there's more of those things? Is there actually more? Do you have to do at least three? 
Hmm. Okay. This just feels like a dang game, man. Like, I don't know how I can put it other than just like I'm playing this and I'm just reminded. Like, dang, dude, I love games that are games. The Golden Shachihoko. Is that its face or a goofy mask? Why one? Maybe it's both of them. Okay, so I'm just checking here what's going on here. Is this, is this just a... Yeah, just go nuts on it. Very nice. Okay, see, I'm guessing that there's more than, than three of the things in the stage. Right? I do like the long jump. Okay. One eight hundred. Are you gaming? And I am. Yeah. Let's just yeah. Let's just avoid these fellas for now. No reason to worry about that. Okay. Because again, I'm no real point in collecting collectibles if it doesn't save them. I'm just more curious about you know gimmicks and stuff. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Then this is by Goodfeel, who've done um, like some of the. I think they did like, like uh, like Yoshi games. They did uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. You know, a couple couple games that people really like that I would agree are like of the same, just sort of like, yeah, that's, that's a video game. You know, like you play and you're like, heck yeah, it's a video game. That's fun. Some, some fun mechanics with dealing with dudes on here. Right? I bet you there was stuff you could have collected there, too. Yeah. All right. Smack it out of there. Nice. There's something to be said about a... I mean, they're called good feel, which is funny, but just having a really good feeling platformer that you play and you're just like, dang, that feels like a real game. I want to do the giant robot because uh, that's a that's a Goemon staple, right? Goemon Impact with its amazing theme song. But let's see, I think, and the, there was just a uh, they just decompiled. Um, Goemon N64 on PC. So people will be able to play that. Uh, a, a native PC build of that really soon. I mean, it, 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 you can now. I just have no idea how to set it up. <laughs> and we got a proper boss fight. Look at those low poly signs. Or low quality texture. As you love it. Oh, a Takayaki? Of course. Okay. Mega Takayaki. I mean, hey, that's uh it is what it is. I like how they also look like uh octopus pots. That thing's huge. How do we even fight it? This isn't like what I imagine. Our enemy is bigger than a building. <laughs> Gramps, no time to be laughing. Don't underestimate our battleship, boy. She's the Tanuki clan's pride and joy. Hey, is oh he's in the mecca. Hey, clowns, I hope you're ready for a good whooping. Taste the Bunbuku's full power. It's Smackdown time. Oh my God! Please tell me it has lyrics and stuff. Oh my God! Yes. Please, lyrics, please. Please, I want to hear hammy 90s singing so much. Okay, the teapot is kind of an inspired design. I like it. I like it. Turning the spout into a uh, a pompadour is kind of great. Okay. Yeah, please teach me the controls. 
punch left, punch right, blast punch. That okay, that's not a rocket punch, it's a blast punch. Okay. Guard. So basically the same controls. Ultimate. Okay. Oh, you're heavy. Oh, you're heavy. That's what I want. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to whoop. Oh, this is it's it's the same controls but heavier. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, this feels cool. Okay. Approach. Oh my god, yes. Oh, you can cancel it. Oh, you can cancel it! Fully boiled, hit the ultimate. Okay, well, we got the last hit. If I was super far, I probably would have done something different. Shut up, what do you mean? It's like wrestling. Shut up! What do you mean it's like boxing? Oh my god, that's so good! I just noticed the boxing ring sort of aesthetic there. Oh my god, this feels so good, actually. I'd kill for this to be attacked on two-player mode. Okay. I tried to block that. Didn't really block. Oh, okay. Heck yeah, that was awesome. Okay, is this further? Oh, 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 oh! Yo, we got the straight uni beam going on? Okay. Oh, this is really good. Because I didn't, I didn't actually love the going on impact stages in some of the games. I thought they were kind of not the best. Uh, this is this is, a, this is really good. This this makes me really happy. Bro's approaching. Yet his ultimate. Okay. I love the fact that it tracks still. He's getting far. He's going to do something. Oh, they went for the double. Okay. Oh my god, that feels really good. Hey, good feel makes a game that feels good. Could you imagine? Oh, I was going to do something crazy. I'm going to get right up close. There we go. Heck yeah. That's a good feeling boss fight. That's a good feeling, boss fight. Kind of love that. I kind of really love that. Wow. Traveled to all 47 prefectures, 60 stages. Wow, that's a lot of game. That's a lot more than I kind of thought. That's good, though. This is awesome. And the time of the last one, which is the flight, which I don't recall there being flight in other Goemon games, but. It's something new, right? Throw in, throw in a new gameplay mechanic. Goemon games are wild. They are insane. They are, they're so creative. What are you? What are you? Just a little thing, huh? Browsba. Being surrounded by nature is nice. What are you? Browsby. Nice river. You're a dog? Hop in the dog. The dog has been entered. Okay. Okay. I 
I see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Control fire jet Brosby and crush the enemy festival troops. Shoot left, shoot right, press them together, barrel roll, laser, launch bomb. Okay, enjoy the... It's a dog fight. Shut up. It's a dog fight. I can't believe... I can't believe you. Oop, missed that one, guy. Oh, it's a little tough to tell kind of where I am. You know why? Because I'm so used to it, you know, hitting in the middle. Right? Yeah, okay, the, the depth is a bit different. It's not... It's not like it's 2D. There's, there's like, depth to it. Okay. I think I think that's what, what it is. Okay. Okay, alright. Save my bombs for any big ships or something. Or, like, maybe... Yeah, like that! Okay. I'm glad- I'm glad when I saw the word bomb, I'm like, is it gonna be like a- like a proper shooter bomb? And it was. Right? Like, it was- it was a proper, like, use this and it, they blow up. Right? Okay, so laser is like- I should have saved the laser for this guy. Okay, so that wasn't a boss. Okay. That was just a big fella. Shout out to this music, too. Music's been good this whole time. Goemon has some bangers. So it's a little bit to kind of, you know, live up to. But it's doing pretty good so far. Oh, it's so tough to see the, uh, the dude firing at you there. There we go. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, one problem I am having just is slightly to see how much depth there is. Okay. Come on, get get the dude. Thank you. Oh, okay, that's shooting in a pattern. Oh, okay. Hello, can you get up? Thank you. Hey, we got him. A little little platform down there is just like, well, guess guess I'm alone now. Oh. Cause it's the oh that's cool. Tried our best. Oh. Three souvenirs. Is it for how good you do? What is that? Tosa dog figurine. Cute. I, yeah, I know this by now. What are those? Diamond hard dried bonito. Yeah, because it's basically wood at that point. And we got uh, the, the pennant. Okay. I hope I hope there's a place that displays all these. I was gonna say, is the little guy around here too? He should be. Yeah, you. Trying by the send knowledge. What do we got here? All typhoons are named. That's true. Oh, where's the other ones? What could we do to get the others? Where could Bro be otherwise? Oh wait, wait. There's multiple of him here. What do we got? Skipjack tuna have horizontal stripes, but the shock of being reeled in turns stripes vertical. What? How, do, how does that work? How does that work? I kind of doubt you on that one. I uh, that uh, I mean, mind you, I've seen like we we caught a a fish called a dolphin fish, and when we caught it, it was green, and then once you take it out of the water, it like changed color. So I mean, I guess it is possible, but it's just like, I, how does that work? We did it. Okay, so yeah, this was this was a pretty good game. I'm excited for it now. Oh, they gotta stop releasing new games. Oh, they gotta stop releasing. There's too many good ones. Oh, I literally can't keep up. I can't keep up. 
when is this out and is there any other info about it so again there is a new boss in this one and they said that there's two new techniques too apparently for the western version Bakaru's adventure in the Japan-esque wild action game. I guess that's what it's called. Got the 2D stages. Fighting on the beach. Kintaro looks cool. He's got armor and stuff. Yeah, we got blasters. Go to all the different parts of Japan. Nice. Travels all to 47 prefectures. Divided in 50, more than 50 stages. Uh, battle on his drum, transform into Kintar and Momotaro. Yeah, Hurricane, Spinning Top, and Lantern Boss. Cool. And when's this out? 9-3-24. Am I stupid? Oh, it's only the 8th month. That's next month. Okay, well. Cool. That's, that, that's, that's, uh, that's for later. It's for later. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This was fun. I hope you check it out too. Uh, will this be a Let's Play? Probably not. But I definitely want to play it. Uh, so thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time for some more. Ciao. Yo. Yo.